Hey everybody, you've probably been receiving these emails nonstop over the last few months, and we only have a day left. So uh, I just wanted to preface this that I like Google Analytics somewhat, but I don't find that information to be incredibly useful. And over the past handful of years, the percentage of your actual real traffic that is going to be tracked by Google Analytics has gone down as there have been major changes in how data is handled on the web and what cross-site scripts are blocked and all these technical things. Uh, basically, there's somewhat of a fight between the advertisers who want these analytics tools and people who like privacy or businesses that want to have privacy in their offering uh, blocking the analytics tools. So. I don't log into Google Analytics for my own personal websites all that often. Um, I, I will maybe do like some checks here and there, but it's not something that I check on a daily basis. Uh, I'm much more interested in other metrics uh, because SEO is such a large percentage of my uh, actual revenue uh, for my photography business, I actually just ch check Google Search Console. So I, I look to see actual clicks from Google because I know roughly what percentage of those clicks are going to convert. Um, I can see my traffic through that. If other sources of traffic are a larger percentage, say the majority of your traffic is coming from referral traffic from other blogs or something like that, then Google Analytics is going to be a little bit more key for you to really gauge how your marketing is doing. But I just wanted to really have that, that preface up front that Google Analytics is not incredibly accurate or as accurate as it was in years past. Uh, so now let's get started. Um, you've probably had a, a bunch of these emails where they're telling you that Google Analytics, uh, Universal Analytics is going away. They're replacing it with Google Analytics 4 and that's coming up in a day. Just today, they've been sending out these emails and they probably have previously where they've automatically made you a new Google Analytics 4 property. So they've they've taken your Universal Analytics property and they've just changed it and upgraded it and migrated it uh, to create this new Google Analytics 4 property. You still have to go through this process and we can click through that in a moment. It's going to take you to this um, setup assistant. So let's take a peek at that. All right, so this is where a lot of people are having confusion, and it's rightfully so. Um, when most people get to this setup assistant for the property that's been created from their Universal Analytics, first, it says that some of your settings may be properly uh, automatically added, but to opt out, you need to go up to the setup assistant. This is a huge red banner that's really scary to people, but it's pretty much saying like, hey, you need to check everything. Second, for the, la the past few months when I've been in this section where you just need to go through each of these seven steps and you need to mark as complete and you should check the settings, but overall you just need to make, like, make sure that you have the data flowing, the data stream there. Um, let's go back to the previous there it goes. Um, turn on Google signals if you need ads personalization. Set up conversions if you're tracking conversions on your site. That's going to take a little bit more work. Uh, define audiences. Uh, pretty much like go through all of these steps. In the past, I was not able to mark these as complete. So I would, I would mark it as complete. I would have done the actual task, but it would not let me do that. So it, it was continuing to tell me that my setup was not complete, even though it was. Another problem is that they're kind of wanting you to like set up your Google ads as part of your completion for Google Analytics. Completely not necessary unless you're running ads. Um, here, managing or managing users, that's going to be like people that have access to your analytics property. So if you have somebody else that looks at your data, another firm, marketing agency, uh, assistant, other employees, etc., that's where you would control that. Importing data, this is kind of like a tricky one because you're not able to import your old Universal Analytics data into GA4. They're collected differently. They're tracking slightly different things. Uh, they're just they're not one one to one. Uh, so it's it's not even great to compare the data between the two 
versions of Google Analytics, uh, you're, you're going to see, in some cases, somewhat wildly different numbers. I've, I've seen quite a few people who have already set up Google Analytics for and have universal analytics set up side by side, and they're like, hey, like, why does it say I had 400 page views on this one and 500 on this one? So things like that. And it's just they track in different ways, and people block um, them differently. Um, so it's, it, they're not going to be the same. Linking BigQuery, if, if you have a lot of data, so if you, if you have a lot of traffic and you're good at analytics, you can do the link to BigQuery and do some like data wrangling there. Um, user IDs, I haven't done that. I think that, oh yeah, cross-platform, not really beneficial for us unless you're like, if you have an app and you're tracking that and you want to track it, traffic that goes to your web, stuff like that. All of this is super advanced. You don't need it, but basically, what you want to do, uh, we're going to go to this. Do, do, do. I guess we're going to go try this email, see what see what's going on with this one. Don't have permissions on this email. OK, so one of my tips that I wanted to also give you is that I have found creating a brand new property from scratch if you're unable to get these uh, setup steps to be marked as complete just setting up a brand new property from scratch to be a much easier uh, workflow. So let's just say this is fuel your photos test. Um, this is just like for them. <laughs> this isn't going to change anything for you. I think changing the business objectives is going to change which reports they uh, put into your dashboard. Um, I'd probably say generating leads is what most photographers are doing. Brand awareness is also pretty key. Um, yeah, it's hard. You might have slightly different theories on what you're really trying to track in Google Analytics. Uh, maybe it is just tracking how people use your website and how they interact with it. I think there are better tools for that. Uh, this is, another, once again, one of my problems is that none of, like Google Analytics isn't great at anything right now, so I'm not happy with the overall um, I'm just going to do baseline reports. How about that? We're a web website. I'm going to put, uh, let's do, I'm going to put feel your photos. Okay. Uh, this is going to measure page views, scrolls, outbound clicks site search, video engagement, file downloads, form interactions. Easy. Um, yeah, so you cannot turn off page views. You could turn off any of these other options if you don't think you're going to use them. Create the stream. OK, so this is where it, it all begins. Um, they're going to run a quick like search on your site and see like what is your tech stack and how can they recommend installations instructions for you follow those they're probably pretty decent um, alternatively you can copy your tag id and all oh, right i like this install manually as well i'm going to click that so this snippet is the same as the snippet for universal analytics but they've added this new GA4 property ID to the G tag configuration area. You can copy this whole snippet. And this is how to manually install Google Analytics on most platforms. Um, if you're on WordPress, you have multiple options. Um, many themes are going to have an option to just add just the ID. So they've built in a tool on their site where if you just put this ID in a admin box on the back end, they'll put this snippet on every page. So that's going to work for show it. It's going to work for Squarespace. Depending on your WordPress theme, it will also work. If you need to manually add a, your snippet uh, for WordPress with Cadence, if you have Cadence Pro, you can go to Customize. And you can go to a Custom Scripts. And you can add any sort of snippet to your header here. So I would just copy or paste it there. Um, if you don't have Cadence Pro, I'll show you a few other ways. 
I I don't want you to use. Oh yeah, we're fine. Go away. There we go. Um, I'm going to show you who plugins. So I do not like Monster Insights. It's a very bloated plugin for adding a simple snippet to your um, website. So Google Site Kit. This is one that you can do. If I can find it, I'm just going to do Google. It's probably two words. Site Kit by Google. OK, so just installing this plugin. And then you can, I'll just run through it here. Um, we're going to activate. We're going to do this setup. OK, so connect to Google Analytics. You're just going to sign in with Google, tell it which property you're using, and you're done. Um, I'm not going to go through that here because I have like multiple Google Analytics or Google accounts set up, and it's going to be a mess. But that is super easy. So SiteKit's probably the easiest. It just takes a few clicks. Um, there are more advanced ways that I prefer. Uh, that would be using a plugin like Code Snippets. So we're going to do that. Oops, I don't want to upload it. I want to search it. All right, so code snippets, install this. You can also use this one, the insert headers and footers. That one's really nice. You just paste the uh, code snippet from Google right in that as well. Code snippets is a, li a little bit more advanced, but I use it for many features on my site, so I like to just use this plugin. Um, so here you would do add new. And this, I'm going to post a, a, an example in the group when I post this video. Um, but we can just do a quick Google, and we can say uh, PHP snippet add script to header. And they'll have it here. Cool. Potentially. There we go. OK, so I just copy that. And what it's doing, you describe what your snippet does. That's, that's just a, a comment. WP head is uh, what's going to actually put it in the header. And we could call this like insert GA4. And then you would say the same right here. So insert GA4. And then you take your analytics snippet and you paste it right here. And that's going to insert this Google Analytics snippet on every page of your site in the header. So you would just hit Save and Activate, and that would work. Um, so that this is my preferred way. You should also title this snippet. Just call it like Insert GA4 Site-Wide in Header. Um, this is how I like to do it, but it's a little bit more technical. You obviously don't have to do this way. Uh, if you're struggling, the site plugin works fine. If you have to, the Monster Insights plugin will work. I just don't prefer that. Um, I also really like if your theme has that option to just use that. Uh, once you've done that, you just want to check to see that you're getting data. And I'm going to change to a different uh, analytics property. It's probably going to give me. Yeah, 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 we're here. OK, so what I like to do is just go straight to the real-time report. And within minutes of adding that code, you should see traffic on your site. Uh, if you don't have like regular traffic on your site, you can go to your site, and you should see yourself pop up. Um, but yeah, that's typically how I like to see. As long as you're seeing data here, everything is set up properly as far as a baseline goes. You can always start diving into setting up conversion tracking on your contact forms, um, other little tweaks you can make to your Google Analytics. But at least you're going to be collecting the baseline data, and you can go from there. So I hope this is helpful. Um, like I said earlier, I feel like 99% of the confusion has been caused by Google Analytics. It, like emails coming out, even if people are done with their setup, they're still getting emails. Um, even like this site today when I logged in, it's like, hey, let's take a peek at your GA4 property. 
I've had this set up for like a year. <laughs> like I've, I've been in this GA4 property. Like, why are you giving me this, this pop-up? Um, and then the reporting, not being able to turn off or mark any, all of those seven steps as complete, I think was also confusing to people. They assumed that they must've done something wrong, but I've seen that on hundreds of sites that were set up properly and you're just unable to mark it as complete. So I don't think it's you. I think it's Google. I think they've had a hard time with this migration. Um, but yeah, I hope this video is helpful. Talk soon.